I'm so happy today because here we are in Camden, New Jersey, 1,200 miles from New Orleans, exposing an entire community to hands-on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. When we started this in our garage, we had no idea that we'll be bringing this to places uh, that people would think would not embrace such an idea. You see here today, over 500 kids registered, over 300 kids participating in hands-on STEM in Camden, New Jersey. Gotcha. So this is producing static electricity. So as you touch this metal ball, a tiny little electrical current is hitting your fingers. Today is amazing. It's definitely giving our children an opportunity to experience the world of STEM. Um, I actually from Philadelphia, and I just like to search for different activities to keep my daughter busy, especially on the weekends. Um, she's out of school on spring break, so we filmed this activity on Eventbrite actually. And um, I just wanted to give her an opportunity to come and just experience some of the things outside of just her normal school day. So it's been a really, really good opportunity. Oh, uh, controlling the robot? How are you controlling the robot? With this tablet with Bluetooth. And uh, what are you making the robot do? I'm making the robot dance. The energy has to hit this and passes through these in order to launch this. The energy that is still in this has to come back and hit for diverting energy back here in the side. Our young people in the city of Camden, across the city, would be equipped with the best education, the best experiences in order to break the very stubborn opportunity and achievement gaps that continue to hang over the heads of students who come from districts that are uh, urban or impover impoverished. And so it is my dream that these experiences would ignite a spark and a love for learning that would help our young people to transcend any barrier or any obstacle in their way. Equity matters. Which one do you think is healthy and which one do you think is unhealthy? That's healthy, that's unhealthy. Exactly. And what kind of things can make a lung unhealthy? Smoking, like nicotine. Yeah. Um, Pollution. The air pushes that um, purifies it so it can move. And the wheels make it so, you can, so, you, so it moves in a straight direction so it doesn't turn or anything. I believe it's going to open up, you know, our, broaden our kids' minds. Uh, Hopefully our kids leave here today wanting more. Hopefully our kids leave here today learning something and understanding something that they didn't know before. Hopefully today our parents leave here and, and, and charge the community of wanting to sustain this and come together to give more STEM with, in our community and in our school system. I was talking to our superintendent and we talked about pulling this together and making our STEM programming more robust. And this is a great start into uh, inviting and creating a foundation for our kids, a foundation for our community to build on with partnerships, STEM Lola, STEM NOLA, and everyone involved. This impact goes beyond just today. This impact can go on for our future and years to come. I wanna look back two, three years from now and see a robust of community programs around STEM, and we can say it started when we planted this seed today. 